you want to move to Scotland, Glasgow in particular, which is my hometown. I'm Glasgow born and bred. I want to get married in the future and uh, move closer to Edinburgh. <laughs> I love the way Robert's mom's like, yeah, so basically, uh, when you come here, you can live in Glasgow, right? And all of a sudden, we've got ourselves saying, ah, well, I feel like uh, Edinburgh would be better for us. Or saying it behind her back at this moment in time. But it's only me and Robert who decide what we do. We were talking with Robert about it, and uh, there will be more jobs in Edinburgh for me. We will all right, before before this 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 uh, amazing reply comes in, it's funny because each time Arsov says we, don't lie. There is no we when it comes to your relationship, Robert. You mean you will decide where you where you will live, not we. But anyway, right now she has just said about there are jobs in Edinburgh. Wait for the comeback. I thought you did everything online. My mum's not so keen on us potentially moving away from Glasgow and over towards Edinburgh, and I kind of understand where she's coming from. I will Either way, though, your mum caught your future wife to be potentially <laughs> in her own little act to scam the situation. Yeah, but you work online, though. Point being, exactly, she caught you red-handed there. I don't think I'm silly because I'm old now. Uh huh. Will make it harder for me to go home to see her. Plus, she's a Glasgow girl. There's that whole Glasgow Edinburgh rivalry. In Edinburgh, I would prefer live closer there. And for Robert, it's no different. Oh, it is different. I mean, he needs just. It's very different for Robert. <laughs> Cat got your tongue. Why? <laughs> because I'm here. I would be upset if he moved. I know if I need him, he'll be here. He couldn't do that if he moved to Edinburgh. Mm -hmm. no. I think it's not a problem here. And this is what I always say, man. Anyone who's close to their parents in the UK, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, your parents don't want you moving too far away. They want to be in in in, in reachable distance. And I think, to be honest with you, at whatever age is his mum's at, she definitely wants her son around. As much as you can, do you know what I mean? Which, which is understandable, which is completely understandable. But I mean, listen, the situation would be different if Robert generally wanted to move himself, but he has not said that. I know Robert's mom uh, doesn't want us to move to Edinburgh, but it all depends on us what we decide. Yeah, it's certainly something that is going to require much further discussion here. <laughs> yeah, here she goes with the us again. Wait, 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 where's the us? Why, why are you saying us for? Stop lying with the us. Well, here's the thing. Before we continue, I know you're still here. And you're here because you're liking the content. And when you like the content, you like the video. Thumbs up down below. Subscribe as well if you're new. But with that being said, let's continue with this uh, masterpiece of uh, SO being put in a place by Robert's mum. Realised to live in Edinburgh is far, far more expensive. Robert is, is out the window. Mm -hmm. The only issue is our cell does not even care about how much it's going to cost. That's the issue. She thinks that money's dropping out of Robert's pocket like there's no tomorrow. There's way beyond our means, your means, that's for sure. I am worried that she thinks that because of what we have, he has an unlimited source of money, which he doesn't. And this is why right now, it seems, it seems when it comes to getting approved from Robert's mother, it's not looking likely for you, dearie. Not looking nowhere near likely. Unfortunately, you accept him, you accept what goes along with it. Woo! 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 Now, that was a tough pill for Asel to swallow. And she's right, the mother's right. You know, if you want to be with my son, you have to accept what, everything that comes with him. I mean, to be honest with you, I think, I feel like the only thing that's crucial for her to accept is that he has a daughter. And you've got to accept the daughter. This is where it gets spicy. Enjoy having Arwen staying with us for a few days. Honest answer, like not very much. Whenever we go to your mom's, you become a different person a little bit. And whenever Arendt comes, you're also a different person. I mean, honestly, the audacity to say, no, I did not enjoy spending time with your daughter. And pretty much throwing the mom in the, in the mix anyway at the same time. Different in what way? You become so overconfident. You know that I will not make a drama because it's your mom. And the same when Arendt visits. So basically, in a nutshell, you don't like his daughter being there or his mom being there because it's the only time that you can't really control him and, have, and get what you want. Right. And this is why you see other women in his life as a competition. <laughs> this woman is pathetic. Capitals everywhere. Explanation marks everywhere. Pathetic. 
ignores you for weeks, mm -hmm. never writes you, never answers your call, never calls you back. And once she needs something from you, she, suddenly she appears. Yep. How are you fully, fully, fully going in on my man, my man's daughter? How can you be talking about somebody's child? So what? That's their relationship. Let him deal with his own child. And what? What's it got to do with you? How many times they communicate? How dare you? And raw the audacity. But hey, man, I really like when Robert decides to get a backbone. So it constantly brings up me spending money on my daughter, which is none of her business. She asked you for a car. Where are you getting this? She asked me for a car. You, you keep fucking bringing this up, and I've told you time and time and time and time again that she did not ask me for a car. Oh, this is when the uh, suspense comes in. Not a suspense. This is when it gets a bit more funky. There's a cell now. Well, as much as she's controlling, she's also something else. She's messaging you about him. And how do you know that? I saw. How did you see? I saw my name in Messenger. Mm. So not only is she controlling, she's also hella nosy too. Going into someone else's privacy. How are you violating his privacy? The conversation he's having with his own child and you are violating that privacy. And the way she says it was just a smirk in her face. Mm, I saw it. My phone. Messenger. Bruh. Nah. This attitude ain't it. Criticizing me. Tiny small criticisms. When she's criticizing, it's tiny small. When I criticize, it's huge. You completely invaded my privacy and went and to be honest with you, that's where he needs to just stop. You don't have to say anything else. She invaded your privacy, case closed. Nothing else. You don't need to say anything. Get up and walk away. Like, what's wrong? Nah, man, this ain't it. My messenger and read my messages. Could you imagine your reaction if I did that to you? This tension, I don't like it. If you don't like it, why do you cause it? <laughs> oh! Robert was ready. He came ready for war. I don't cause it's she nature cause it. I'm not going to sit there and let someone unfairly slag my daughter, even if it is the woman that I want to spend the rest of my life with. Listen, you got to let them know, man. you got to let them know, Robert. Exactly. It's about time. It's about time. Now, hmm, this is the part that I probably enjoyed the most. Okay. Don't get rushed with proposal. You want the honest truth on the proposal? Yeah. You know what the crazy thing is? She said that on purpose. She, she, she was trying to um, do some kind of reverse psychology type of situation here. I had come into this fairly confident that come the start of the year, I was going to go out and buy your ring and propose before you went home. But you're the one that's having a go and criticizing Arwen. If we're going to spend the rest of our lives together, then we should be becoming part of each other's lives. Yeah. In a nutshell, Robert said, listen, <laughs> unless your attitude improves, I ain't proposing. You can forget about that. Forget about it. Done and dusted. So at this moment in time, our soul does decide. I, I believe she goes back home anyway. As it's done. And uh, marriage is not necessarily in the cards at this moment in time. Listen, man. Shout out to Robert, man. Like, he finally turned it around and he finally made it abundantly clear. Abundantly freaking clear that, hey, I ain't marrying you. Unless you buck up your ideas about how you want to treat, how you want to behave with my child and whatnot. And my mother, all that kind of stuff. Nah, this ain't happening. But I see what she did though. She was trying to put it out there first. You know what I mean? She was trying to like, mm-mm, but it didn't work. <laughs> if it was me personally, man, I'd, 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 I wouldn't talk to her again. Like, bro, she disrespected your, your, your daughter the whole time she was there. And then she didn't go through your privacy. And on top of that, before that, she's been trying to change your whole life. Bro, what you do, man? Like, do better. <laughs> Don't forget to like, sub, and of course. Oh.